how do I keep the engagement during the demonstration? Is it is it all screen share all the time and I should never take it down and constantly be doing this? No, we don't want to. So, so it's okay to pause the, the demo screen. I was, so I review a lot of reps calls. Uh, I love it. Now, the, the feedback I give, they're like, oh my gosh, geez. But I'm like gone, but just in per, per, person form. But um, no, but it's important because you see that you got, there's a question time. There's a moment where there's lots of discussion and the, 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 the demo is just there in standby, just on this really weird screen. And then you can only see small faces, like take it down. So yes, remove it. Um, so, so there you go, less screen sharing, I think. Um, and I'll also say, um, make sure that you're also sharing your notes. So there's a thing that I've always done, right? So engagement is share the screen, spin up the whiteboard, right? So spin up the whiteboard, have the notes up there and be like, okay, so um, just making a note here. Give me a second. Um, feel free to add to it. It's collaborative. So um, can you just add some notes around what you said about the process? I think you said two things just while I do this, just for time. You'll be surprised. Never happens. Prospects have never seen anybody's notes before. So they are blown away that you're sharing your notes and, and you're and you're writing stuff. Sometimes I haven't planned to share notes. So if I've got like a, a Google slide deck, I'll go to the speaker notes and have that on my share screen and say one second, just adding my notes here. Um it's okay to do these things because this is meant to be a collaboration. Like, hey, prospects, so today we are working together to try and work toward a desired outcome. And the first stage of that is just understanding your use case in this new environment. If, if it makes sense at the highest level, it's okay to be like, let's do it together or spend your time trying to picture them. So we want to share screens. And the only other thing I'd add that's here is, um, is thinking about crowd theory, right? And their name. Say, hey, James, uh, so just, uh, just a note, right? Uh, Jennifer, and you'll find, you listen, even though you're paying attention because we're on this live webinar, you were like, oh, what have I done, right? <laughs> so you pay attention. People hear their name in the loudest rooms. So when you do that, you draw someone back in to the conversation and they're like, because what you don't want to do is ask them a question and they can't answer it because they're not focusing. And it's really easy to lose focus virtually. And it's a little bit embarrassing to say, sorry, I didn't hear what you said, Hannah. But if I said, hey, James, so just going back to this piece, now I brought you back in, you're paying attention, then I ask a question. So always ask the question after you brought them back in. Yo, that is a golden nugget right there. If you are not currently sharing your notes with your prospects, if you are the no, the 30% of the people that said no, Share your notes. Who knows what they're going to add to those notes? And it might just keep them engaged. 